I'm Ross Harbaugh. Today we're going to talk about pizzicato, uh, this wonderful technique of strumming the strings or playing them individually. And one of the basic things about pizzicato that I like to stress is uh, that it's a sideways motion. I connect with the string and then pull sideways or this way. So down bow or up bow. Okay, uh, the thumb can be used in a couple of different ways. One of the things that stabilizes my finger is to rest the thumb here. And by the way, I use index finger almost exclusively for my pizzicato. Some people like the long finger or they'll exclusively use thumb, but for quickly playing, it's not as good for me. So I'm gonna reinforce um, my index by doing this and then pulling to the side. Uh, or I'll reinforce the uh, index with my thumb this way and actually bounce off of the string. So I'm pulling sideways, but also kind of going up and down. This is an, an arm stroke, really. Um, here's another really basic thing that you might find useful, is when you pull the string, you can end up on, against the next string, which is something that jazz bass players do. Actually, I think all bass players do. I'm gonna pull that way. Instead of trying to avoid this string, I'm gonna use it as a stop. So that's my pits reinforcing and then I pull to the next string okay let's use some examples so in um, uh, the American Quartet Opus 96 uh, there's a lot of really expressive pizzicato required of the cello we just begin at the beginning of the movement I'm, I'm reinforcing my thumb this way and pulling I rest the thumb here I hold my bow on my thumb although it's still free to, to reinforce and then pull this way and then down here it's not so uh, accurate to, to just come at it with the whole arm so then I use the fingerboard to help me reinforce like that. In the Ravel Quartet we're required to play very quickly pizzicato and in this uh, case I'm going to use I'm going to again hold the bow like this but I'll use my thumb and first finger as kind of a plectrum it's going to sound like this. If I had my finger like this, it would be very hard for me to move that quickly. In the Debussy Quartet, we have an example of strumming, and I'm going to use my thumb all the way across the four strings. I'm making a very aggressive motion. If I was doing this, that would make it a very smooth motion, but instead, that makes it a very ag aggressive and exciting sound. Another kind of strumming, I call the drum strum, and in the Shostakovich trio, there's a place where we have to do this. So I'm plucking, it's primarily open strings. I certainly have my open G and, and, and C, but I'm pulling all the way across like that. And that gives a, a lot of bass sound to the, to the trio texture. Another example of creative pizzicatoing is in the Shostakovich trio, the first movement, measure 168. And here we're going. I always find that that uh, using an individual stroke for every one of the notes to be a little snappy. And so I've adopted a, a, a guitar technique, which is called hammering on. I do this. Try it once and maybe you'll like that. Um, and then, uh, of course, we all know about the Bartok pizzicato which is an extended technique. And in this one, I'm going to actually pull the string up, breaking all the rules of normal pizzicato, and I'm gonna let it snap onto the fingerboard like that. And that gives us an amazing percussive effect. So all these different ways of playing pizzicato, enjoy. <laughs>